Hi, this is Jake with Lifeline Pet Supplies. Today we're covering the multi-display temperature controller for the Lifeline Pet Supplies Puppy Kitten and Pet Incubator. This also covers the controller for the former uh, Lifeline Pet Supplies hinge door incubators. Um, I'm going to go over a few things, mainly some issues if you see resetting the unit, doing a factory reset. Um, let's get started. So. On this unit, this is with the new model that has the um, slide and lock that locks into the top plate of the incubator. If you flip the controller around, you're going to see that this has a, a fuse here um, that you can pop out once that, the cord isn't in there with a little flathead screwdriver. And we include a replacement fuse there. So you've got a cord um, that you'll find if you purchase the incubator or just the controller by itself. You'll find a cord that looks like this with the new uh, model that I've got here and you just want to line that up and plug that in there and then underneath that is the power on and off switch so when we turn that on and flip this around here you're gonna see the unit come on now the first thing it does the temperature controller when it comes on is it flashes and it's flashing L for a low alarm because it's not currently at its set temperature so we hit any button to stop that and then um, the next thing we're going to do is check the temperature, current temperature setting. So if I push the set button there, that's currently set for 89 degrees. And we can go up or down to change that where we want it. Um, the new puppy, kitten, and pet incubators that use the uh, PTC um, style, uh, which is a thermal resistor heating fan, uh, much like the RCOM models using that, they use a... Uh, different style heating mechanisms so we, we recommend you set those for 89 and then the hinge door heat lamp models we recommend you set that for 86 degrees Fahrenheit so in the internal settings we preset those and you will find you will find that information right here for your settings I'm not gonna go over that in this video I'm gonna go over more of a factory reset if you're seeing your your lamp not coming on and off um, in your hinge door models, um, I'll kind of cover that and um, you know if that's not shutting off or if the, the fans not shutting off um, Excuse me if the Heating mechanism is not shutting off what to take a look at um, To test that and what to do to try to fix it troubleshoot it on your own And if it's still causing an issue, so you can get with our tech support team and if it's under warranty um, We'll get that covered or help you uh, get it taken care of so what I want to do first is kind of show you what to check if your mechanism's not shutting on and off. That's usually done um, going into the internal settings and making sure that your parameters for your heating and cooling difference are set correctly. And you can find that information on this model set here. So heating difference is set to 0, 1. Cooling difference is set for one degree over on this unit. It's a little bit different on the hinge door model. Um, I think we set those for 0 0.2 um, on the HD setting, and um, I believe it was, was uh, 0 0.5 on the cooling difference. So those parameters just control when the fan kicks on and off or when the heating mechanism for the unit kicks on and off. So let's go into the, the uh, internal settings. I need you to hold in this set button here. Hold it in for until you see about four or five seconds till you see the HD come up. Hit set again. That should be set at 0 0.1. You can go up or down arrows again to change. Set to confirm goes back to the HD. Up to CD, that's that is cooling difference. Set again. Up or down to the desired setting. This unit is 1.0. The next setting is LS. That's a limit stop. We do not set those, but that LS setting is if you've got kids or someone that likes to hit buttons, um, you can set that for where if somebody hit a button, you don't want any lower. So you might set that for um, 89. So nobody can lower eight, more than 89. Um, we leave them because uh, there's really no reason to set it. It does no other function but prevent you from lowering and raising the temperature, and that would have to be changed if that is set before it could go lower than the low limit stop or um, higher than the high stop. So that's the low setting um, limit stop there. The high limit stop, same thing. Can't go above that. We don't set it, and it doesn't mean the incubator can't go above that temperature. Um, it's, it's actually that someone can't change that on the you know settings here so they couldn't go into the unit 
if this was set for 90 you have to go in and internally change this before you could actually set your temperature higher than 90. Um, the next setting is CA, that's calibration. So we assume when this comes from the factory that it's, it's calibrated correctly and that it is perfectly calibrated to the sensor and reading true. If you believe that to be off, you can recalibrate it, but we find that they're very rarely off more than a couple tenths of a degree, so it doesn't really make sense to you know, recalibrate unless you're just seeing something totally off. And you can get those instructions for how to calibrate in another video. Again, not going to cover that today. So one thing here that just happened while I was talking is this timed out. That happens quickly. You've only got about five seconds to go up and down through your settings. Stops before it'll go back to the main screen. If that happens, simply hold in, set again, up or down to where you want to go to your internal setting. And reset it. Now this P7 setting after calibration is a time delay. We set that usually on this unit for one minute. That P7 setting is in minutes so I'm gonna let this time out here. So what that P7 setting does is it tells the incubator not to uh, not to turn on the fan for one minute after it goes above its high high setting it's different setting so if you've got it set for 89 degrees and let's say it gets warmer than 89 and it goes up to you know 80 89.5 um, it once it, it triggers above 89 it shuts your heating mechanism off and, and the internal timer counts one minute until it will kick the fan on the reason we delay that is because you do not want the fan, the cooling fan, the overheat protection fan, kicking on all the time. It causes erratic temperature changes, and it also, for newborn puppies, you don't want it on all the time because it can draw a draft over them. You only want that overheat protection fan to come on in cases where the unit is truly overheating and not just within what we call a cycle, a normal cycle. So that is uh, what the P7 does, is delay that fan in minutes. Now, the other two settings we have are AH and AL. Those are alarm high on the AH setting and alarm low on the AL setting. The alarm high setting is going to alarm the audible alarm in the unit when it reaches two degrees above right now. That's what we set them for, two above, two below. Um, the alarm high will alarm at two degrees above the set point. So if you've got this set for 89, um, once this goes above 91, it's going to alarm you and let you know. You can set those to your liking. I like 2 degrees um, because that really alarms me if there's really something going on. Let's say the switch inside the controller stuck. It's going to alarm me, and it's going to let me know that, hey, um, you know, this was at 89. It's now above 91, and it's been there. Um, you know, you need to come check something out, you know, do a factory reset or, um, you know, to get that uh, taken care of or contact the tech support rep to help you. So that is what that does. Same thing with the alarm low setting. Now, I do want to mention that on the alarm low setting, when you open the door, um, you know, naturally cooler air will, will come in and, and that's normal. It's really no different than taking your, your puppies out to feed them. Um, you don't want to sit there and leave that door open all the time because the, the, it, it's not allowing the unit to, to function and do what it needs to do. So um, open it up, take your puppies out to feed, close the door back, and then when you're done feeding and cleaning the puppies or kittens or whatever you're incubating, put them back up and allow them you know, to that unit to regulate back. So that is what the alarm low function does. And as stated, when you first turn the unit on, you will hear it alarm. You'll hear that unit, or you'll hear that controller audible alarm, and it'll flash L. And that's what it, the alarm, audible low alarm looks like, that AL setting. So any button to reset that. That kind of covers the settings. Again, the information is found um, right here on the top of, of this controller, or it can be found in our learning center. It can be found on the website. Um, on the product page, you'll find PDFs for this information. And thanks for choosing LifelinePetSupplies.com. Please contact us if you have additional questions or need technical support help. Um, contact our tech support team at technical support at LifelinePetSupplies.com. You may also book a technical support call via our website and the technical support link in the foot of our website. Thank you.